Why am I making an isometric app? Well, my biggest inspiration for a video game um, has been two games. You know, first from the Super Nintendo is a game called Chrono Trigger. It is a 2D game, but it feels 3D because it's isometric. It had a wonderful storyline. I played it and replayed it because it had a way to replay the game. Um, and it had uh, wonderful music. You know, it's, it's music that I still listen to today. I listen to covers of it. Um, another game in the same genre is Diablo 2. Or, sorry, Diablo 1. Um, and it was, it, it was a game changer literally and, and, and figuratively. Uh, the way it worked is it worked on an isometric grid like you see here. You had a character at the center of the screen. They could attack you know, some of the undead creatures. Um, and it was in real time. It was real time combat. You didn't have to go through menus to choose your attacks. You just clicked, pointed, uh, and did your attacks, right? It, and from that came a genre called action RPGs. So today's topic is, is not going to make a 2D game. It's going to just skip that step <laughs> and jump straight to making a, a, a 3D, 3D game. Um, so I want to make sure that I'm, I'm sharing my screen here. So this document has a really nice uh, visual of what we're doing. Things to know. The first thing that we'll do is, is we have our tile. Here's... Here's my tile. Um, I'm going to use this tile. I'm going to lay it across the background. I want, to, I want to use this as my picture and lay it across a coordinate grid. Okay, now going back to this picture, um, everything that you do inside games is going to be based on tables. The first table that we're going to be making is a table of all the tiles that are inside the app. Uh, for our purposes today, we're just going to use the one tile, one uh, one kind of tile. But for subsequent, uh, for your purposes, you may want to to alternate between different different tiles in your app. So the way this works is we need to generate a coordinate grid. So we need an x-axis, a y-axis. There is going to be a z-axis as well, um, but. But let's, let's focus on the x and y axis first. Um, the x axis runs from the top corner to the right hand corner. So it goes from 0 to 7. Uh, the y axis runs from the top corner to the left corner. It goes from uh, 0 to 7. Um, and then Here's an, a really good visual of showing the same thing. You know, X goes from the top to the right, Y goes from the top to the, uh, to the left. So let's generate that coordinate grid. This is a pattern that I use inside every single one of my apps. It's a good one to know. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna do this as a button. Now, this has been made possible much more easily thanks to a new function called sequence. So I'm going to start by creating a table of the x uh, of the y axis. I like to start with y. Uh, y is my number of rows. So I have let's let's do a coordinate grid of ten by ten. Um, and for each each thing that I do, I'm going to show its value inside uh, the previewer. So here I have a list of 10 things. And because I said I wanted to make this my y coordinate, I'm going to rename this, uh, rename the column. So it's a single column table as it is right now. It's got numbers 1 through 10 and y. So how do I make this a coordinate grid system? How do I give it an x axis? So I'm going to add a column. Uh, I'm going to add a column that I'm calling, and this is a dummy name, table x. Now it's, I can name it whatever I want because I'm really going to get rid of it. 
for every one of those y coordinates. I'm going to have a table of 10 numbers. Oops, uh, this is. I'm going to have a table of 10. I'm going to have a table of 10. And I end up like this. So for every y coordinate, I have a table of 10 numbers. Let's improve this. I also want to rename this this time instead of uh, y, I call it x. So now this table has a y coordinate and a table of 10 x coordinates. How do I break that apart? Well, this is this nice function called ungroup. And it lets me unpackage this dummy table. So for each value here, 1 through 10, it's going to take the corresponding y value. It's going to assign that same y value to each of those. Let me show you what it looks like. For every one of these y values, it's going to give that y value to each of those x values. So now I have 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1. So this is number 3 in the first row. Uh, number four in the first row, and all the way up to 10, 10. So in a matter of, what, three functions, uh, I have generated a coordinate grid. Such an important pattern. Uh, keep this in your back pocket. You can see the same pattern used inside the chess app that I have. If you'd like to see more videos, Please like and subscribe.